In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a simple power switch to devices like the Apple TV, the Roku, and a variety of consumer electronics that should have a power switch, but don't. All you need is a power switch, which you can buy from a hardware store or electronics store for about a dollar or less. Get a good quality one, a wire cutter, preferably one that's professional quality, which you can use for different gauge of wires. But my actual wire cutter has been confiscated by the airport security, and I have to rely on this crude version. And then the cable that you're going to use to connect to the device. And here I have this cable that I use for my Apple TV. And it's a two-prong connector. And it's a fairly long cable, about six feet. So I'm going to decide where I'm going to cut this cable in half and connect it through this power switch. Preferably, you don't want to cut it too close to the power plug. Uh, I would like to cut it closer toward the device itself. So maybe about one half or two feet. And all I have to do is to cut it. Okay, now I'm going to have to strip the wires inside and make sure I match the wire colors when I connect them through this power plug. I'm going to open this power switch case to see what's inside. Then the next screw. So here, that's pretty simple. All I need to do is to connect two wires to here and two wires to here. So let's see what's the color here. I have a brown wire and a blue wire. So I'm going to connect half of the brown wire to this part, half of the brown wire to this part, half of the blue wire to this part, and half of the blue wire to this part. And this switch is fairly simple. I just have to loose the screw and put the wires inside and tighten it. So I'm just going to strip the wires now. Now, when you expose the inner wires, you want to make sure the length is sufficient to reach both connectors. So on the left side here, this connector is really close to the entrance of the wire, but this one's further. So I have to see if both will reach once I put them in. And the blue wire reaches without a problem. And the brown wire is too long, so I'm going to cut this brown wire and make them the appropriate size for the connector. You can see they fit perfectly lengthwise. And here, I'm just going to screw each one into its corresponding connector. Okay, loosen the screw, give it enough space so I can fit this blue wire underneath into the opening. OK. 
Okay. Now, I tighten the screw. Okay. Make sure it's tight, but not overly tight, as you don't want to break the copper wires. Now, do the same thing for the brown wire. And just make sure on the other side, you do the same and the colors must match. Now the two wires are properly connected. Blue must match blue and brown must match brown. The polarity doesn't matter because with this type of two brown connector, you can plug in either this way or the other way. So now you can just cover this Make sure it fits tightly. So here I have a perfectly working power switch that I can add to any devices including my Apple TV and Roku. Now testing it with my Apple TV and there it's on. If I want to turn it off just simply switch it off.